And this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Well, it was a common sight in the 80s and 90s, not quite as frequent. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, week seven is underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They will be led out by a second-round pick in 2019. Out of Missouri, it's Drew Locke. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. And on this offensive unit, one guy that's proven himself early in the NFL is Eric Ebron. A very reliable target for a quarterback. They always love tight ends because they're right in their sight lines. If you get it to this guy, though, he can take it the distance. I hope you brought your left because I'm about to take you to school. Second and five now. Lock. It's caught. Back him. And he'll bring it up here to right go. at here the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The numbers for Beckham in last week's effort. Five catches, 65 yards. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Second down, it's Jacobs. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Here we go. Stick the oar. Lock now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. This crew against the pass issues at times. Ranked number 24, Charles, in the NFL. They're in the bottom 10 in the league. I mean, when you look at their talent, you would think that they'd be much better. Overall, I don't think there's any question you'd have to say that they've underachieved. Lock again here on second and 10. He finds his target back him. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon. And that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Out there now, the lefty Tavecchio for the Falcon field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. Tavecchio puts this one through. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like, whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. 
That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for you on the outside as well. That's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Back to throw. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Following the fumble recovery, it's Locke. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Now Locke on the bootleg. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 23 yards on the play. Now they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? To back good plays, have them on the move on first down. On first and ten, here's Locke. Got a man, it's Brown. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Locked to throw on third and one. Blitz coming and down he goes. Well, they only had a yard to go. They try to pass the football. Defense blitz. Defense got there. Yeah, I think on this one, this is probably good scouting. Understanding a few tendencies and figuring out that, hey, they may take a shot. And he dialed up the pressure and got to him. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This will be a 37-yard attempt. The kick by Tavecchio is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's 6 to nothing. 
So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Right back to him on first down. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now a first carry for Brandon Boulder. And he gets it down to the 32. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second and six. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 16. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. And he gets it to Bolden. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And they are on the board, trailing now at 6-3. to three. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. 
And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless. As they the second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half. Let's do it. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now they'll run on the ball. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Hit it. 53's the mic. Six man. Check curls, check curls. Play. Five. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Once again, it's Jacobs. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They will run the draw with Jacobs. The safety landed Collins there to make the tackle. On second down now, it's Jacobs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Raheem Mostert. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Ready, ready. Ten Lobo. Mike, Mike. You bring it. You bring it. <laughs> On play action, lock. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. It's caught at the ten. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there for the Niners. 53 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Locke working out of the gun. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Josh Reynolds, his second touchdown on the season. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead.
A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Tavecchio. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Back now here in Santa Clara. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Completes it to Norwood. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second and four. It's over the middle. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Looking to throw. Norwood's got it, complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. Second and five. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. They'll look to throw here. And he locates Walker. Complete. We play to win. Let's go. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. 
Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's our visitors with a football as we get your reset. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. Second and one toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. They'll drop the throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Important extra point up and through. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So that one a long 11-play drive. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. A nice run on first down. Gets them six yards to the 31. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Jacobs now, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Back to throw, lock. And able to find John Brown. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Lock, he's set to take a knee, and that should do it for this ball game. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. So the victory here for San Francisco, and this one won't be remembered for many offensive fireworks, but they did enough to get the job done. And that's why it's a team game, because sometimes you have to lean on one part of your team. And they leaned on their defense. In fact, they probably went over there and asked for some help. Like, guys, we just don't have it in this one. Can you hook us up? And they did in a big way. He said, no problem. Put it on our shoulders. We'll carry you home. And they did exactly that. So for San Francisco, it's a much-needed victory as it gets them back to 2-4 and four on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the loss drops them back to 4-3 and three 